Hello fellow compliments. Welcome to another Green Agile Thursday. On Tuesday, we started a new series titled Leading a Low Carbon Lifestyle. Today, we are going to continue with the series and learn more about saving our energy. Before we start the lesson today, let's take a look at the top three winners from each level from primary 1 to primary 6 for the Kaput quiz. These are the winners from the last week's quiz, titled Be a Defender of the Environment series. Wow! We are happy for the winners from last week's Kahoot Quiz. I am sure they will enjoy playing and learning with the Eco Recycling Kit that they have won. So, Zongarians, we look forward to your participation in future Kahoot Quizzes. Okay, Gen Star, going back to the topic we are focusing on today, let me ask you, why do we need to save energy? If the switch is too far, is it okay if I leave the light and air conditioner on since energy is readily available all the time? Well, Derek, we need to understand that the excessive use of energy can cause climate change to worsen. Yes, Janista. Electrical appliances like lights and air conditioners need energy, which requires the burning of fossil fuels that releases carbon dioxide, which leads to climate change. We need to cut down on our electricity consumption to reduce the negative impact of climate change. Let's watch a video and learn more about how to save the energy and how to minimize the impact on the environment. Here is a reminder to take note as you watch the video. The information in it will help you answer the questions in the Kahoot quiz that will be uploaded to SLS tomorrow. The cost of using energy can be measured beyond just dollars and cents. An hour with the air conditioner uses enough energy to light up an energy-saving light bulb for over four days. Every bit of electricity we use adds up. If it doesn't seem like much, Consider this. The amount of electricity all of us consumes in just one day can power 2.8 million energy-saving light bulbs for a month. But the real cost is to this earth that we live in. And at this rate, it won't be such a great place to live on for long. But we can do something to help reduce damage to the environment. 10% of our energy use, that's all we need to reduce on. And we can start right away. The first step, understanding how much we are actually consuming. For example, did you know that the energy used by a single air conditioner is enough to power 32 fans? Using a fan instead of the air conditioner saves not just energy, but also a lot in your bills. Setting the temperature too low wastes energy. Set the air conditioner at about 25 degrees and save yourself some money. Not all air conditioners are the same. The more ticks on the energy label, the better. They save you the most money in the long run, even if they may cost more upfront. The same principle applies for lights as well. CFL, LED and CDM lights are better options as they use less energy. Every incandescent light bulb that you replace can save you close to $15. There are various models to choose from for your specific applications and lamp sockets. A desktop computer would use more than twice the amount of energy as a laptop. For general computing needs, consider using a laptop. 
enable energy saving features on the computer and switch off the computer when not in use for long periods. But these will continue to draw standby power if you do not switch them off at the power sockets. A larger fridge will consume more energy than a smaller one. Choose according to your family's needs. Consider the need for these features as they use more energy. Again, the more ticks, the lower the life cycle cost of the fridge, which makes for a smarter choice. Allow cool air to circulate efficiently by not overloading the fridge. This will help consume less energy. An airport constantly uses electricity to keep the water warm. Use a vacuum flask instead. Cooking appliances such as pressure cookers and thermal cooking pots can help save on time and energy used in cooking. It is not necessary to use the warm water cycle as our water is warm enough for effective washing. Instead of using a dryer, air dry your clothes. Instantaneous water heaters are more efficient than storage water heaters. However, if you own a storage water heater, consider buying a timer as it optimizes energy consumption. Monitor your usage monthly. Every little thing we do adds up to helping our environment, to growing our savings and reducing our consumption of energy. And you can start today, wherever you may be. I'm even more convinced now that we all need to save energy as much as possible. We need to reduce the usage of electricity and not waste it. You are right, Jenny Star. To all my fellow top warriors, remember, even a small, simple action, such as switching off electrical appliance, can help save energy, reduce our carbon footprint, and prevent climate change from worsening. We have come to the end of the second series in the Digital Outreach Endeavor. We look forward to starting a new series next week when we meet again. Before we go, a reminder to log on to your SOS account tomorrow and complete the weekly quiz titled Green My Mind Quiz. There will also be fun facts and interesting information for you to read and gather more knowledge about the topics we have covered this week on leading a low carbon lifestyle. We look forward to your participation. Remember to do your part and be energy smart. Have a terrific day ahead and stay green and dry.